I was like, man, I kept playing it. I went to the shy, I kept playing it. I know it's not Drake, but it's as good as fucking Drake. The only thing, and people are like rubbishing it because it wasn't Drake. I'm like, well, mm -hmm. or now, is it making me feel a sad emotion? Um, is my foot bumping? Mm -hmm. um, have you told, have, did I not know it wasn't Drake, but I thought, have thought this was an amazing track? A hundred percent. And we're just at the start of this exponential curve. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and I think that's really the third inevitable. So the third inevitable is not Robocop coming back from the future to tell us we're far away from that, right? The only inevitable is what does life look like when you no longer need Vic? Well, you kind of hazarded a guess, haven't you? I mean, I was listening to your audiobook last night, and at the start of it, you frame various outcomes. One of the, in both situations, we're on the beach, on an island. <laughs> exactly, yes. yes. I don't know how I wrote that, honestly. I mean, but that's, I, so I'm, I'm reading the book again now because I'm updating it, as you can imagine, with all of the, uh, of the, uh, of the new stuff. But, but it is really shocking, huh? the idea of you and I inevitably are going to be somewhere in the middle of nowhere in, you know, in 10 years' time. I, I used to say, 2055 i'm thinking 2057 is a very pivotal moment now uh, you know and 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 we will not know if we're there hiding from the machines we don't know that yet there is a likelihood that we'll be hiding from the machines and there is a likelihood it will be there because they don't need podcasters anymore oh, excuse and, me uh, absolutely true Steve, no, no, there is absolutely no, 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 that's very true. There is absolutely yeah. no doubt. Thank you for coming, Mary. Thank you for doing part three, and thank you for getting here. Yes. Uh, well, let's sit here and take your coffee cup. Let's let's talk about reality. Next week on the Diary of Sierra, we've got Elon Musk. Um, so who, who here wants to make a bet no, that no. Stephen Bartlett will be interviewing an AI within the next two years? Oh well, actually, I, to be fair, I actually did go to ChatGPT because I thought having you here, I thought at least. Give it a chance to respond. Yeah. So I asked oh, a couple of questions. About me? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So today I'm actually going to be replaced by ChatGTP because I thought, you know, you're going to talk about it, so we need a, a uh -huh. fair, balanced debate. <laughs> okay. So I want to know if is born. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll ask you a couple of questions that ChatGTP has for you. Incredible. So let's follow that. So I've already thread. been replaced. Let's follow that thread for a second, yeah. Okay. Because you're one of the smartest people I know. That's not true. It is, but I'll take it. I, it is true. I mean, I say that publicly all the time. Your book is one of my favorite books of all time. You're very, 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 very intelligent. Okay, that's breadth, uh, uh, intellectual horsepower, and speed. All of them. There's a but coming. <laughs> <laughs> the reality is, it's not a but. So it is highly expected that you're ahead of this curve. I mean, you don't have the choice, Stephen. That this is the thing. The thing is, if. So I'm, I'm in that existential question in my head, because one thing I could do hmm, is I could literally take, I, I normally do a 40 days uh, silent retreat uh, in, in summer, okay? I could take that retreat and, and write two books, me and Chad GPT, right? I have the ideas in mind, you know, I, I wanted to write a book about uh, digital detoxing, right? I have most of the ideas in mind, but writing takes time. I could simply give the 50 tips that I wrote about digital detoxing to Chad GPT and say write two pages about each of them, edit the pages and have a, a book out, okay? Many of us will, will follow that path, okay? The only reason why I may not follow that path is because, you know what? I'm not interested. I'm not interested to continue to compete in this capitalist world, if you want, okay? I'm not. I mean, as a, as, a, as, a, as, as a human, I made up my mind a long time ago that I would want less and less and less in my life, right? But many of us will follow. I mean, I, I, I would worry if you, don't, if you didn't include, a, you know, the smartest AI. If we get an AI out there that is extremely intelligent and able to teach us something, and Stephen Bartlett didn't include her on, our, uh, on his podcast, I would worry. Like, you have a duty almost to include her on your podcast. It's, it's an inevitable that we will engage them in our life more and more. This is one side of this. Hmm? The other side, of course, is if you do that, hmm, then what will remain? Because a lot of people ask me that question. What will happen to jobs? Okay? What will happen to us? Will we have any value, any relevance whatsoever? Okay? The truth of the matter is the only thing that will remain in the medium term is human connection. Okay? The only thing that will not be replaced is Drake on stage. 
okay? Is, you know, is, is, is me in a... Do you think? A, a hologram? I think of that Tupac gig they did at Coachella where they used the hologram of Tupac. I actually played it the other day to my, to my girlfriend when I was making a point and I was like, that was... Circus act. It was amazing. Though. Amazing, about, yeah. You see what's going on with ABBA in London? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, and, and Cirque du Soleil had uh, uh, Michael Jackson in one for a very long time, yeah. I mean, so, so this ABBA show in London, from what I understand, that's all holograms on stage. Correct. And it's going to run in a purpose-built arena for 10 years, and it is incredible. It really is. So you go, why do you need Drake? Great. If that hologram is indistinguishable from Drake, and it can, it can perform even better than Drake, and it's got more energy than Drake, and it's, you know, I go, why do you need Drake? So you can be there. I can go to a Drake show without Drake, cheaper. And look, I might not even need to leave my house, I can just put a headset on. Correct. 